Hey guys, today we are going to be checking out Preact, a little three kilobyte alternative to React that's optimized exactly for browser development. So let's check it out. As you can see, I've created a little example app for both React and Preact using Vite. And here we can first of all see the file structure, which is basically exactly the same as you can see. Like we've got our app and we've got our CSS and all the normal stuff just named a bit differently probably, but that's it basically. And also you've got a preact config in here, but yeah, those things are really minor and basically not important for you. So now let's check out the actual code. And as you can see, I've created the same app one by one on both sides. So we are using a few hooks like states and setting the states based on use effects and all that stuff. And um, we also have a ref in here to test that the ref doesn't do re-rendering and all, of the, all that stuff. And yeah, we're basically displaying these three. So two states, one ref, and we have one button that increases the state of value one. We have one button that changes the um, value of our ref called value three. And we have this use effect that sets the value two when value one changes. Basically, the only difference you can see is that you aren't importing from React, but you're importing from Preact hooks. So this isn't a one by one replacement. Some things are imported from Preact, something from Preact slash hooks. So yeah, that's just something you'd need to get used to. But yeah, I don't think it's that much of a difference, to be honest. Now, if we just check out our apps that we've written, you can see Hello Preact and Hello React. Those look exactly the same. Like if I hit increase state, as you can see, the middle number decreases, the top number increases. If we increase the ref, then nothing re-renders just the way we want it to. And if we now increase the state again, then our ref updates as well. So yeah, it behaves exactly the same way as React, which it should because we've basically written the exact same code, except for the import statement. And yeah, it says preact here instead of react. But yeah, as you can see, it's probably a quite viable alternative for the simple side of React apps. And what's even cooler, you can actually go ahead and use it directly inside of the browser. So here I've written a little example that basically uses the modules, so ESM modules, and imports some unpackaged modules from uh, unpkg, so Preact and Preact hooks. And yeah, as you can see, we've got a little use state here and we're using an H2 and using the state right here. The H2 contains props and all that stuff. So yeah, this basically uses normal React, just not with JSX because JSX would need to be compiled. But yeah, that's not that much of an issue if you really want to run it in the browser. And yeah, as you can see, if we just head to the running version of this, it's working just fine. So we've got state management inside a normal HTML file here. Sure, it um, will take some time to render if you open it for the first time because the React will need to be um, rendered first. So yeah, don't build your whole website on this. It will decrease your SEO score probably. But anyway, it's still quite cool in my opinion that I can just basically run React inside of a normal page to embed something that should be reactive in a site that's mostly static. And also, if you really need a lot of those features that React gives you, like all the modules that you have that just offer you component libraries and stuff, then you can get that too using Preact Compat, which is basically a little compatibility layer that offers about 99% of um, the features of React in just two kilobytes of extra bundle size. We are not going to get much into this. As you can see, it will offer you the way to extend your components that you import to make them runnable in Preact, but yeah, that's something for you to explore. I really think that Preact can be quite useful because you basically just have a three to five kilobyte file size. So yeah, this might be a time where your code will actually be larger than your library or whatever you want to call React slash Preact. Anyway, I hope you can make use of this. I will most probably build something in Preact very soon and yeah, I hope you're gonna have a good day.